Oh, hey everybody. Uh, this video, I'm going to show you how I make these lovely bottle openers that have magnetic personalities. I'm going to start with picking out my nicest piece of rough cut walnut. Take it over to the miter saw. While I'm at the miter saw, I'm going to cut it in about two foot strips. Maybe a little bit longer than two feet. Uh, I want it to be a little bit longer than what I need because I'll cut it to its final dimensions uh, here in a little while after I do a few more steps to this board. I'm going to try to batch out several of these if I can. Uh, so I'm going to cut a few strips of this. I've got a bad piece in the board right there that I'm not going to be able to use so I'm just going to cut it off. And then I'll cut a couple more pieces here uh, approximately two feet long. After I cut all my pieces to the length that I want, I'm going to go ahead and go to the joiner and I'm going to join one face of each board. Seems like it takes about a thousand times running them across here so I sped this up. Once I get the faces jointed, then I'm going to adjust my fence so that I can do one edge. I want to make sure that it's square before I proceed so I get my little tri-square out. And then I'll run one edge of each board making sure that the face that I jointed is pressed firmly against the back fence. Once that's done, then it's time to take it to the planer. And once again, it uh, seems like it takes forever to plane these boards. So I'm going to try to speed this up for you guys a little bit here. But uh, we got to make sure that we get the boards parallel on both faces. Whew! Finally done with all that planing. Now we'll rip the final edge off on the table saw. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take all the boards over to the miter saw and cut them to their final length. 11 and a half inches seems to work really well for these bottle openers. Once I'm done cutting them to their final length, I'm going to go to the router table and I'm going to chamfer all the edges on one face. That will just give it a nice modern look. And then when we're done with that, I want to put some keyholes in the back of this for mounting them. So here I am putting some keyholes in the back of this. I've got a keyhole bit that I've got on this router table. Here's a live uh, real-time action of me doing this. I start with pushing it all the way against the fence and pushing it down flat and then I'll pull it out just a little bit maybe half to three-quarters of an inch. I've got some marks on my table that I'm paying attention to to do this. Once I've got it as far as I need out I turn it off so I can safely remove the board, flip it over and then I'm going to start by holding the bottom edge of the board off by about half to three quarters of an inch, the same mark that I was looking at before. I'm going to turn the table on, push it down, and then I'm going to actually push the board toward the fence. Sometimes it gets stuck a little bit and i got to tap it a little bit like you saw there. But once it's done, I turn it off again, and then I can safely remove my board and we got some nice keyholes on the back of it for mounting. Once we've got the keyholes in the back, I go over to the drill press and towards the bottom keyhole in the center of the board I'm drilling a 1 and 3 8 inch hole. I got my drill press set up so it'll leave about 1 8 inch of material on the front of these boards. And then of course everybody's favorite, the sanding. After I'm done sanding the boards I'm going to go ahead and move on to putting the magnets in the back. For that, I'm just using CA glue and Starbond Accelerator. Um, I found that the medium CA glue works the best for this. So I'm just going to put some CA glue in the hole so it covers the bottom. And then I'll put the magnet in and try to center it up just by eyeball. Once I've got it to where it looks like it's in the center, then I'll just grab the accelerator and put a couple shots in there. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds for the accelerator to make the glue dry and then you'll be good to go after that and then I just move on and uh, do the second board the same way after we've got the magnets installed in the bottom and we're sure the CA glue is dried completely we can flip the boards over and I'm going to start by eyeballing these to line up the bottle openers I'm going to drill a hole in only the top screw of the bottle opener and then I'm going to put the screws in and after I get these screws in, 
That'll give me an opportunity to realign and recheck and make sure the bottle openers are still straight and lined up with the boards. And then I'll drill the bottom holes out. After I drill the bottom holes out, then I'll put the screws in those. And once I got all the screws and the bottle openers, I'm actually going to go ahead and take all the screws out and remove the bottle openers because that'll help with the next step, which will be finishing the boards. And for this step, I'm using Howard's Butcher Block Conditioner. Uh, you can use whatever finish you want to put on your boards, but to me, this is a nice finish and it darkens the wood and kind of pops the grain on there. So I like the way it looks. Once I'm done with the finish, then I'm going to put the screws back in. And once all the screws are back in place on these boards, then we've got a finished product, a nice bottle opener. These bottle openers make pretty good gifts. Uh, they sell pretty well. And also, when you're done making one, if you don't want to give it away or sell it, you can always mount it on the wall, open up your favorite beverage, and enjoy.